so far in this course, we've been operating on a deep, dark secret. And that secret is that we've been taking derivatives and making an assumption. In this activity, you're going to be verifying a few of the assumptions that we've made so far. Here's the first example, and this is called the constant multiple rule. And you're going to be verifying that, or I'm going to be verifying it, graphically and numerically using Sketchpad, just as an example so that you can verify some more of the rules that we'll be using. Basically, it goes like this. If I have a function 3 times x squared, the derivative of that function is 6 times x. And so what we've done is use something we've already seen called the power rule. So we're going to be verifying that today. In natural language, the constant multiple rule sounds like this. The derivative of a constant times a function equals a constant times the derivative of that function. And so in this case, my function h at x is actually made up of a constant times the function f at x. The constant in this case is 3, and f at x is x squared. So I'm going to take the derivative of f at x, and that becomes f primed at x, and we all know what that is. It's 2x. Now, the constant times f at x is going to be 3 times 2 times x, and we verified that algebraically. So to verify this graphically, what I need to do is show that the graph of this function, which is what we've been assuming all along, is the same as the graph of this function. So let's give it a try. So here it goes. I'm going to plot this function. Plot function. Oh, look at that. There I've got a plot that looks like a straight line, and that's pretty much what we've understood up till now. Now I am going to plot the second function, and what I should see, if this is all true, is actually nothing. So what should happen is these two lines should run over each other. And look at that, they do. There, that is the graphical verification of that rule. Now, if I want to verify these numerically, I can actually use Sketchpad to do this rather than calculating it. I can go under the measure menu, I can look at calculate, I can choose h primed at x, and I am going to calculate it at the value of 2 and see what I get. Okay, there's the value of the derivative when x is equal to 2. It's 12, which means the slope of the original function was 12. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go to the measure menu, calculate the constant times f at x at 2 as well. So click, 2, okay, there. I have verified graphically and numerically 